Jerry from Quinn Pop here with your weekly uh, look preview of the Mixed Match Challenge, which is coming up this Tuesday on Facebook Live. Um, if you don't know what the Mixed Match Challenge is, it's basically where um, two superstars from the WWE, one male, one female, team up and they battle other people and the winner gets uh, money to give to charity for the choice. Now, the first week has already passed uh, by us, and if you missed it, you missed a great match. That was, of course, Finn Balor and Sasha Banks versus Natalia and Shinsuke Nakamura. Um, it was a really great match. Um, with Shinsuke and Finn, there was a lot of reversals back and forth, and just one of those things where like they keep doing moves, and then they stand up and look at each other, and everybody's just like, oh my god, you know, this is amazing. Crowd was cheering. Natalia and Sasha did most of the work. There was a lot of um, hard-hitting moves and the ladies were involved in it and the ladies apparently are allowed in a very limited sense to interact with their male counterparts because we did see Natalia uh, stop a, a move from Finn and then Sasha actually broke up a pin from Shinsuke. So that was a great match and of course the winner of that was Finn Balor and Sasha Banks so they're moving on. And so now we go to the next week. And now the next, this week is kind of an interesting one. We have the Miz and Asuka from Raw versus Big E and Carmella from SmackDown. Now, right off the bat, uh, Asuka being in this match changes a lot of things. You know, of course, that uh, Asuka has not been defeated in all the time she's been here in WWE. And it's going to be very interesting how this plays out. Now, a mixed match challenge like this um, Asuka could lose, but she will not be the one taking the pin. It will be The Miz. Um, Big E is a huge um, challenge for The Miz. While The Miz, of course, you know, Rolling Stone's uh, Wrestler of the Year, um, and, you know, probably one of the best promo people we have right now in the business, um, physically, Big E is the much more powerful person. He can move fast, he's strong, and it's just going to be very interesting. Now, Carmella doesn't have the athletic ability that Asuka has. So if I were her, my biggest, uh, probably my biggest decision would be to uh, face, uh, let Big E face The Miz as much as we can. So uh, yeah, we will see that on Facebook Live. That is of course right after SmackDown. Um, and as I said, the show itself was presented very well. It was, everybody got an entrance. The commentary team is great. Um, you had, of course, of course uh, Beth Phoenix uh, coming back to do commentary, and she did very well. And it's just a really different way to see a lot of your favorite superstars. So please check it out. It is, a, it is of course, free on Facebook Live. Uh, if you don't know how to get, um, get on it, there are videos out there from WWE that tells you how to get on that. So, yeah, check it out. I, of course, will write the recap of it on the uh, SmackDown preview, and uh, I'll be back here next week to preview the next matchup. So, until then, this is Jerry from Quinn Pop reminding you, if it happens in pop culture, Quinn Pop will cover it.